or good evening, wherever you may be. This is the Empire Movie of the Week show from Empire Australasia. And this week we are talking about the Grand Budapest Hotel, as it is pronounced in Hungarian or Magyar. JJ, run us through it. You're so smart. Uh, uh, okay, so this is when Wes Anderson's new film. Uh, if you know uh, Wes Anderson's films, you're either going to love it or hate it. Uh, he seems to be quite divisive in terms of uh, audiences. People think really? he... people hate Wes Anderson. Yeah, some people think he's you know pretentious and, and a bit twee as well. Who are these? Think, who are these heartless oafs? I don't know these people, but apparently they exist. They're, They're out there. I didn't like Moonrise Kingdom as much as most people did, but carry right. on. We okay. digress. We digress. Uh, so this film uh, is basically like a Wes Anderson greatest hits. It's got all the amazing production design, the kooky characters, the weird jokes, the stop motion sort of uh, sequences, all that stuff. It's all crammed into one. Uh, Wes Anderson greatest hits film and it has Ray Fiennes is probably Wes Anderson's greatest character uh, Gustav H who is basically he runs uh, the Grand Bud Budapest Hotel in yes. a fictional European city uh, there's a murder mystery involved uh, basically all of the uh, great uh, cast members from various Wes Anderson films are pop in there. Literally every, all of them. I all mean, of them, pretty much all of them. Yeah. yeah, Bill Murray, Wes Anderson, Jeff Goblin, they're all there. Uh, there's not much to say other than it's it's really funny. It's it's a great, great comedy. And the uh, wh why Ray Fiennes' character is so great is he, he kind of goes between being uh, very mannered and polite and extremely crass. Yeah, really foul mouth. Really foul mouth, and it's it's hilarious. Um, so it, I, I had a good time with it. Yeah, and that's I think that's the thing that will surprise a lot of people. I mean, his stuff is always funny, but this is laugh out loud at times. Yeah, right. Okay. And mm -hmm. then bizarrely enough, it mixes a couple of really dark moments as well. I mean, Willem Dafoe plays this. He almost looks like a walk across between a zombie and a vampire. He's he like does. Pointy nails and just looks evil. He's got skull, skull rings. Yeah. Yeah. On this is the guy that played uh, Nosferatu. Yeah, so he's kind of, yeah. he almost looks exactly yeah. like that again. And so, I mean, I guess it's almost, as you say, if you don't like Wes Anderson, you're going to look at some of these characters and think, you know, they're ridiculous. But I think it's one of those films, again, it's got one of those amazing opening kind of 10 minute this is what's happened, introduce all the characters, like the Tenenbaums did, which mm. is just a masterclass of putting a film together and drawing in the audience. And if you get past those 10 minutes, you're going to absolutely love this. It's you're just in. fantastic. Mm. Terrific. What are we giving it, gentlemen? I'll go first. I absolutely loved it. Uh, it's almost a perfect, perfect five, almost. It doesn't quite get there. Uh, and I think it kind of maybe meanders in the second half a little bit. Uh, so it's a super strong four out of five for me. Yeah, four out of five for me too. Uh, this is probably one of Wes Anderson's stronger efforts. Uh, I love Moonrise Kingdom, and I think it's definitely on par with that, maybe even better. Uh, but definitely his funniest film to date. So thumbs up for me. There you go, folks. We have two four stars. I have yet to see the film because of yeah, magazine business. But uh, from Dave and from JJ, so that's two four stars for the Grand Budapest Hotel. I'll be seeing you next week. I hope you'll be too. Until then, see you later. Ooh.